Cooper here at E-Trailer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Koenig XG12 Pro tire chains on our 2021 Dodge Durango using tire size 265.50 R20. Make sure that you use our fit guide here at E-Trailer to make sure that you're getting the right size tire chains for your right size tires. Additionally, for this car specifically, we are installing them on the rear axle, so make sure you go ahead and check your user's manual to see which axle that they recommend you installing your tire chains on. Our tire chains here are going to have this diamond pattern, which is going to get us a lot more coverage across our wheel compared to something like a laddered pattern, which the ladder pattern really just helps with that starting and stopping. and has a little bit rougher ride than our diamond pattern, which is going to help a lot more with our side to side motions. Taking a little bit closer look into our chains, we can see that they are made of these square links. Now that just means that they're going to be really good for breaking up that snow and ice. They're made of a manganese nickel alloy, which just really means that they're going to be resistant to rust and corrosion, making them for good use over multiple seasons. And if we follow the tire chain back, we will see that we do have traction plates on here as well, which just really help break up some of that ice. So these are some very aggressive tire chains that still do sit really low profile. Because our chains do sit so low profile, we do actually meet that Class S compatibility standard, which is recommended in our user manual. And we need that because our Durango does have a limited wheel well clearance, so we want to make sure that while we're making any sort of turns or engaging our suspension, our tire chains aren't going to damage our Durango at all. Taking a look at our inner tire chain here, you will see that it does have a little bit of a different coloring compared to our outer tire chain. That is because this has a powder coating finish, which just helps to make sure if we are making any contact with our rim or our wheel that we're not causing any extra damage as well as being easier to grip in the snow and making sure your hand does not stick to it. Which, this is fairly common on a lot of tire chains. What really helps set these apart compared to some of the others is our self-tensioning mechanism here, which is going to make sure that our tension stays tight throughout our whole entire ride. That way, you don't have to get out at any point and make sure that they are loosening their grip or anything. This is going to keep that nice, tight finish on it throughout your whole ride. Our tire chains are gonna come two to a set, included in this nice hard shell case compared to some other tire chains that just come in a bag this will help keep and maintain their shape as well as protecting them from any outside damage one thing i don't really like about the hard shell case though is that there's no divider for your different tire chains so there's a higher chance that they're going to end up tangled together but once you do get them untangled the install process is actually very simple very fast and very easy and we're going to show you what that looks like right now to start we're going to get our tire chain out of its case Lay it down here in front of our tire, separate our chain right here in the middle because that's where our tire is going to end up sitting, and then make sure that our tire chain is facing the correct direction. Two ways we're going to be able to tell with this chain is first by looking at our hoop here. There is a flat side and a side that we can see has our little hooks right here. This side is going to be the side that ends up facing away from our tire just to make sure that we don't cause any extra damage to it. And if we come down to the base here, we can see that our self-tensioning mechanism has the Koenig logo on it, and that we want to make sure that that is facing down. Now to wrap this around our car, you can use either side really, but I would prefer to use this side just because there's less stuff that can get hooked in around our tire. So we're just gonna bunch it up, kind of work it around our tire until we hit that halfway mark, and then just pull it out, out around. Next, we are going to take the two ends of our blue cable here and run that up our tire, making sure that our stud here fits into our catch plate. And then we can make sure by that just by pulling on a little bit and then begin to drape those chains around our tire. Once we have our chains draped, we're going to take this loose piece of chain with our little red eyelet here and feed it into our red hook and then kind of adjust our chains just to make sure that's not sagging too low. With our connection made up top, we're gonna to come down to the bottom. We're gonna grab our self-tensioning cable and we're gonna feed it through our catch plate here. By kind of pushing down on this button over here, we are in the released state, which just does let us feed that cable right through to give us a good starting point. From here, we're gonna be able to hear it click as we tighten it. So just getting it tight as you possibly can. And then we're going to grab our hook down from our self-tensioning mechanism up top, make them meet down here, and this is going to help keep our tire nice and tight. With all our connections made and our self-tensioning mechanism in place, 
Just make sure that you repeat these steps for your passenger side tire and roll forward or backwards a couple of feet just to make sure everything stays in place. And then as long as everything's nice and tight, you're ready to hit the road. That today was a look at the Koenig XG12 Pro self-tensioning tire chains on our 2021 Dodge Durango. I'm Cooper. Thanks for watching.